Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 287, here comes the third question in the queue. Maximum candies allocated to K children. My name is Sanchit Radeja, I am working as a software engineer for at Adobe and this seems like a medium question to me. However, if you have been solving the daily read code challenges along with me, then you would know that 4 days back we solved a question named split array largest sum. This question is an exact replication of this one. The same concept, the same principle is gonna be used over here. And that's why I urge all the subscribers of the community to practice lead code daily challenges consistently. The concept is same, the algorithm is same, it's just the wordings of the questions that have changed. The concept is range based binary search and I would urge you guys to have a look at this video even before starting the solution or for those who are specifically looking for this solution, try doing it after you have understood this concept by the presentation that I'm going to show in some time. And once you're done with this, do practice because it will help you strengthen the concept of range based binary search. To get a good hold of the concept, let's quickly extract the maximum out of the question. Here in this question, we are given an array that represents candies and we are also given an integer k. What we should do, we, sh we need to allocate piles of candies to k children such that each children get the same number of candies. Each child can take at most one pile of candies and the number of piles may get unused. What we need to identify, we need to identify that number of candies which each child is gonna get. So here they have provided us with few examples. These are like simple examples and if you will go by them, you will not get a good hold of the concept. However, I have changed the example to this one, 4, 5, 6, 17. The value of k happens to be 3 and let's see how many candies each child is gonna get. The answer turns out to be 8. So as per these set of piles, 4, 15, 6 and 17, each child will get 8 candies. So without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation and I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it via the PPT. Lead code 226 maximum candies allocated to K children. And let's take the same example that I told in the question. We have the piles, input piles given to us as 4, 15, 6 and 17. The total number of children among which the candies are to be distributed is 3. And what we should do, let's hypothetically assume two numbers, one as low and other one as high. The low will be equal to, like we can take the default pile size to start with as one and the high would be equal to the maximum element that exists in my pile array which is 17. So obviously the pile size for these three children would be equal to somewhere in the range of 1 to 17. So in the worst case, we can give one candy to each child and in the happiest case, we can give 17 candies to each child. Now we need to identify what would be the most appropriate maximum value that is permissible given the total pile configurations that we have. So what do we do in binary search technique? We simply go and identify the middle element. 1 plus 17 is 18, 18 by 2 is 9 interested in giving nine candies to each children let's see how many children will actually get nine candies given the input pile configuration that we have so let's start the iteration the first size that it comes is four four divided by nine is zero that means this is an inappropriate configuration uh, using this no child will get any candy because the value is less than nine Let's proceed ahead. Next we have 15. So 15 divided by 9 gives you 1. As a result of which, if we consume this pile, then at least we are sure that one child will get 9 candies. So the count gets updated to 1. At least one child will get 9 candies. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 6. 6 divided by 9 is again 0. It's of no use. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 17. 17 divided by 9 is 1 again. So using this pile, another child will get 9 candies. So the total children who will get the candies given the pile size as 9 is 2, which is 
lower than our target value which was 3 then what we should do in such a case we should reduce our high pointer to mid so let's replace our high pointer from 17 to mid so this gets updated to 9 now in, now low is pointing to 1 high is pointing to 9 let's again calculate the middle one 1 plus 9 by 2 gives you 5 so let's shoot and assume that we are interested in distributing 5 candies to each children and let's count how many children will actually get 5 candies given this configuration that we have so the first one is 4 4 by 5 is 0 uh, so uh, this file will not contribute to any answer no child will get any benefit out of it next we see is 15 15 divided by 5 turns out to be 3 that means using this particular file 3 children can be supported next we see is 6 6 divided by 5 it gives you 1 so the count gets updated to 4 next we see is 17 17 divided by 5 gives you 3 3 plus 4 gives you 7 that means assuming that we are interested in distributing 5 files to the children 7 children in total can be supported which is way greater than our target that we were looking for it was 3 as a result of which what we should do we should increment our low pointer to mid plus 1 so low gets updated to mid plus 1 will turn out to be 5 plus 1 is 6 so low gets updated to 6 let's shoot for the next iteration and let me just change the color of pen 6 plus 9 is 15 15 by 2 gives you 7 so the mid turns out to be 7 now let's assume we are interested in distributing 7 candies to each children and let's calculate how many children can be supported 4 by 7 gives you 0 15 by 7 gives you 2 that means 2 children can be supported 6 by 7 gives you 0 17 by 7 gives you 2 again so 2 plus 2 gets updated to 4 that means in totality 4 children can be supported which is again greater than our target value we were, because we were looking out for supporting only 3 children then what we should do in such case we will be updating our low pointer to mid plus 1 so low gets updated to 7 plus 1 is 8 so low gets updated to 8 high turns out to be 9 let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and now we have low as 8 high as 9 mid gets updated to 8 plus 9 is 17 17 by 2 gives you 8 so let's shoot for trying whether we'll be able to sustain how many children given the fact that we are interested in distributing 8 candies to each one of them so first one turns out to be 4 4 by 8 gives you 0 15 by 8 gives you 1 6 by 8 gives you 0 17 by 8 gives you 2 so 1 plus 2 gives you 3 in total that means we are able to sustain 3 children and which is in sync with our expectation then what we should do in such case we again should shoot for a higher value as a result of which low gets updated to mid plus 1 as that means low now points to 9 high also points to 9 as a result of which our loop breaks because low points to 9 high also points to 9 then what is the answer for, for this particular example the answer turns out to be low minus 1 which is 8 which is in a sync with our expectation so this is just one corner case i'll be talking about why i am returning low minus 1 here in the coding section so let's quickly hop on to it the time complexity of this approach turns out to be order of n log n where n signifies the a range up till on which we are operating the binary search which is starting from low up till high let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here i have created two variables low and high also i iterated to the entire array and calculate try identifying the maximum candy element that is present over my candies array and to start with let's assume low to be one high to be maximum while my low is less than high what do i do i identify the middle element and here i have calculated a helper method can allocate candies which accepts three parameters the candies array the value of k and the middle value that we are targeting it for so this represents the pile size and in case we are able to sustain it what do we do we update low to mid plus one otherwise we update high to mid as soon as we are out of this loop that means low turns out to be equal to high we again check whether using this low value are we able to sustain the distribution if yes then in those cases we simply return low otherwise we return low minus one now the problem reduces to writing this helper method appropriately which returns me a boolean variable 
can allocate candies and it has three parameters in it candies k and pile size if my pile size is zero just one corner case return zero return true otherwise i cre have created a variable named total children supported this will be total children supported and let's start the iteration i iterated the, over the candies array total children supported gets updated to candies by piles and it's a recursive way of adding it as we progress through the candies array in case my total children supported turns out to be greater than equal to k i simply return true otherwise i return false so let's try this up accepted and i have already talked about the time complexity which is equal to order of n log n and space complexity is constant time we are not using anything extra over here this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye